Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. We have a full show coming up for you tonight as we begin with a plethora of Huskers news. As Zach Selena Johansson, Johansson excuse me, was named Big Ten Freshman of the Women's Outdoor Track and Field season. Johansson finished third in the shot put at the NCAA Outdoor Championships to earn a bronze medal and first team All-American honors. She finished as the top freshman nationally in any of the NCAA field events at the Outdoor Championships. Nebraska track and field associate head coach and uh, throws coach Justin St. Clair was also awarded a, an honor today as he was named the UT, uh, USTFCCA Midwest Regions Women's Assistant Coach of the Year on Thursday. It was his 10th time winning Assistant Coach of the Year in track and field uh, since 2016. Both Huskers men's and women's basketball announced their Big Ten opponents today. Nebraska men's basketball uh, will have the following opponents at home this upcoming season. Northwestern, Ohio State, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Penn State, Purdue, Minnesota, Illinois, Maryland, and Iowa. And the women's team for their upcoming season on their home schedule will play Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, Ohio State, Northwestern, Michigan State, Penn State, Wisconsin, and Illinois. Nebraska softball announced today that they've added Southern Illinois transfer pitcher Sarah Harness to their roster for the upcoming season. She's coming off a year in which she was named the all, to the All-Missouri Valley Conference first team, coming off a season in which she went 22-7 with a 1.77 ERA, including a 3-0 record and a 0.33 ERA in the MVC tournament. In pro sports this evening, we'll take a look across at the Major League Baseball scoreboard as currently a few games in action. The Phillies and Nationals are just underway. That one is scoreless in the first inning. A An earlier final, that's the only game underway, excuse me, uh, one about to get underway are the Rays and Yankees at 6.05. Yankees looking for a sweep in that series. The Brewers and Mets square off at 6.10. The Rangers meet the Tigers at 6-10, and later tonight out on the West Coast, it's the Angels battling the Mariners at 9-10. Some earlier finals from today, the Guardians bested the Rockies 4-2. The Orioles took down the Blue Jays 10-2. The Padres beat the Cubs 6-4, and the A's bested the Red Sox 4-3. In the NBA tonight, it's Game 6 of the NBA Finals between the Golden State Warriors and the Boston Celtics. The Warriors would win their 7th NBA championship with a win tonight, while the Celtics will look to force a Game 7. That game, again, tips off at 8 p.m. Central. No Stanley Cup Finals tonight, as they will resume on Saturday. But in hockey news, the Philadelphia Flyers named John Tortorella to their head coaching position. And the Vegas Golden Knights traded Evgeny Dadanov to the Montreal Canadiens for con- the contract of Shea Weber, effectively digging them out of almost $10 million of uh, cap cap penalties as they were over 10 million over the cap heading into the off season in international sports fifa announced 16 host cities for soccer's 2026 world cup in the countries of canada mexico and the united states and just look down the road and you'll see one of those host cities and it's going to be kansas city as one of the 11 american venues for the 2026 fifa world cup that's the ticker i'm tim mulhelped and this is sports nightly on the huskers radio network Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throw and pass, caught by Manning at the 10, eludes a bottom to the 5, one more Manning dives, touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out the flat. To each way, back to throws. Polensky now being rushed. Gets hit, goes down. Another side, balls out. Balls out, and they still lose at the 10, and picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Gary Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal at the one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. 
And good evening. Welcome to another show. It's our final show of the week. We'll have an encore show for you coming your way tomorrow night, but some fun coming your way here tonight. Going to hear from Nick Henrich, the Oscar old man now in that room as a linebacker. Doesn't seem like he's been here a couple years, but he has, and he's coming off a tremendous season along with Luke Reimer. Those guys did a great job on the inside of the linebacking core, so looking forward to chatting with him coming up in hour number one. Angela Thacker, who's another member of the Hall of Fame class that was announced last week. She was a tremendous long jumper back in the 1980s for Gary Pepin's squad. Uh, she was a national champion. She's going to be enshrined with the rest of the class. We're going to chat with her coming up in hour number two. And Aaron Sorensen, who's going to moderate a discussion over at the Coliseum on Saturday night commemorating the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Get her thoughts about that, what you can expect, and I hope they have a good crowd, good turnout for that coming up on Saturday night. And if you want to be a part of this little shindig, we always invite that, 402 402- 413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question, or you can fire off a text. That is on our Sports Nightly Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. I'm ready for game six. Starts at 8 o'clock Central Time tonight. Back in Boston. Do or die, their backs are up against the wall. What do you think of that? How do you size this one up tonight? Well, I said at the beginning of the series that I thought Golden State would win in six. So I got to stick with that prediction. But I do think Boston has uh, – probably Boston will win tonight, which I'm hoping for because I want to see seven games. But Agreed. I stuck uh, – I guess I'll stick with my prediction that I said at the beginning of the series. What worries me is that Steph hardly made a shot the other night, and they won. Yeah. He probably won't have back-to-back games where he's not hidden. But I do think they did a better job defensively. They so did. maybe they fi- Boston figured some things out of, of what to do. Um, but going back, you know, to the garden, and it's going to be a great environment, loud, rocking. Um, you know, hopefully Boston can put on a show at least and, and make it a good game. But I, I really do think that they will be good at home tonight. Should be fun. Starts in about two hours is when that one will get underway. Game six in Boston, which is also where the U.S. Open is taking place. Um, back there, round one is almost in the books. A couple of golfers still out on the on the course. Uh, Adam Hadwin from Canada currently has the lead at minus four. A batch of golfers, including Rory, at, at minus three. So it's a pretty good day back in Beantown for that. Uh, speaking of basketball, um, I was pleasantly surprised today to get the Big Ten opponents for both the men and women's schedule coming up. And I always look quickly as who do you play twice? And as I look at the men, they will play Michigan State, Penn State, which that's good, Purdue, mm. Minnesota, good, Illinois, mm. Maryland in the transition with a new coach, and Iowa, you know, is pretty good. So I think it's a mixed bag for the men. When I look at the women, I feel like the women's double plays are pretty tough. So I look at that. They're getting a good chunk of the upper half. They're going to have to play twice this next win. Do they uh, take into consideration like um, uh, rivals at all? Because here's not, Iowa, you know, again. Really. They, they, there's been years we've only played Iowa once, yeah. but I almost wonder: do they look at your where you finish in the standings and jumble that and try to get more of the better teams to play? They never say that they do it that way, but it may because it, I know they play Iowa twice, Maryland twice. Those are good teams. Yeah, for sure. Um, that, but if you look at the um, home games that they got to have the teams come at home. Ohio State probably gonna gonna be good again. If they get to have them at home. They don't go to um, Ohio State, and then on the road, Indiana tough team, but the other three very winnable. So you know, you, on the ones that you just have home or away, at least you didn't get loaded up on going to uh, their place only once. Yeah, the double plays for the women, Iowa. Sweet 16 this past year. Maryland, a Sweet 16 team. Michigan, an Elite 8 team. Northwestern, who was a bubble team that didn't get in. A lot of people in the conference thought they should have got a bid. They didn't. So they're a quality team. And Illinois is one of the bottom feeders in the league. So I, I think the women's part of this is going to be pretty challenging. But I, if, if I'm Amy Williams, I'm okay with that. I, I want to play. My, I've got a good team. I, my team knows that they can play with these teams. Well, and a lot of them have said, I mean, they had, they had beat three of three of the teams that made it to the Sweet 16. And Michigan, they're not going to be scared of Michigan. So, you know, I, I just, I think this is a team, they want to be challenged. They want to, um, 
you know, they don't want to cakewalk into the tournament. And this is a team that's not ready for it. They had a lot of battles last year and, and learned a lot and got a lot of that talent back. And so I don't think they're scared of anybody. They won't. I know they're not scared of anybody that's on their schedule. So even if you look at it, like, oh, that's a it's tough opponents. They're going to step on the court this year believing, which they did last year, especially at home, at Pinnacle Bank Arena, they believe they could beat anybody. Anybody in America that came into Pinnacle Bank Arena, that Nebraska women's basketball team stepped in there believing they were going to win that game. Uh, you know, they struggled a little bit on the road, but hopefully that will, um, you know, with a young team and figuring out some of that, that will improve this year. But I don't think this is a team that's ready to take another step. And with that comes, they don't care who's on the schedule. Whoever is in front of us, we're going to go, we're going to step on the court ready to beat. We won't get times, dates until late August. That's usually when the conference comes out with the exact, this is just who do you play, who do you know you have coming on your schedule. So that was a pleasant, I didn't know that it was coming today, so it was a pleasant surprise to get that today. Also, I did notice that the Big 12 SEC came out with their challenge uh, matchups today, which might mean we we may be close to getting the Big Ten ACC challenge. Isn't it crazy matchups. it took us so long to do the volleyball schedule? Now here all of a sudden the best. And that's what you what? have complained about why? so many times. I don't is know that, why the volleyball schedule took so long. Well, and the basketball just keeps creeping up and yeah. creeping up and creeping up. And I know you've you've suggested that you push it back a little bit the season, but it's it is now this is a sport that year round we got content coming out we got um you know they're practicing all the time but we've got news coming out i mean these are two sports now that you talk about year round what bothers me about basketball coaches and i told them all i told fred i told amy is that they they all want to get going and so they start practices in late september and they have exhibition games in october and then they get to march and go, our season is just so long i'm like you people do it to yourselves a lot of people and i'm in this camp don't think basketball should start till thanksgiving week is when I think it should start. Yeah, and and you could spread out, spread out the preseason a little bit, and so when no, you, I think you condense it. I think you play more often once you get going. Well, I mean, I think the the practices maybe you only you have a limited number of your maybe practices. Maybe you go three, four times a week instead of six or whatever yeah. it is. But that's never going to happen because there's um, TV money in it, and they got to get as many games as possible, and some of these other networks, and so you can't have certain conferences playing, like you know the the. Big 12 or the SEC, they have those networks now that they have to fill that content all the time. And um, so I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't see that ever happening. The But it drives me crazy because the coaches always do it in March. Gosh, this has just been such a long season. Well, you people have asked for it by <laughs> bouncing this out. It used to be, and it wasn't that long ago, Jessica, that everybody had Midnight Madness on October the 15th, right? Remember yeah. those days? Yeah. And there were big celebrations. Particularly, and Andrew will remember this, KU blows it out. I mean, mm -hmm. they go big there. Now, these things are like October 1st, so they've backed it up two more weeks to lengthen their season. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a grind for sure, um, but you can't you can't just as a coach say, okay, well, we it's long season, we can't practice, because everybody else is practicing. Right. It's, yeah. it's kind of what you've been dealt, so you gotta, you got to roll with it. Yep. And again, they, and as like we said, and I think it's a good thing, coaches can be around their teams in the summer now. They used to not be able to be around them. I think it's good that they are because the kids are all here. They're doing summer school and all that stuff that they've got going on there. So that came out today. If you want some more information about it, go to Huskers.com. They'll have all that up on, on the website. There again, no dates and times. That comes later before they'll launch and get that out. Also big news for Husker softball. Tim had this in the ticker. Ron Ravel goes and gets a portal transfer pitcher, a right-hander Sarah Harness who comes from the Missouri Valley. She was an all-Missouri Valley first team pitcher at Southern Illinois. Tremendous numbers. And boy, this looks like just the perfect replacement for Olivia Farrell, who's graduated. Yeah, and I, I didn't dive into what type. I should have asked Coach Travell uh, what kind of pitcher it is because I believe Courtney is Courtney is a drop ball pitcher, so I imagine that they got to find a – that's why Liv and Courtney work so well together. They were two completely different pitchers, even though they were both righties. It was like – uh, batters had a hard time adjusting when one would come in for the other because it was just an absolutely completely different look. But yeah, they needed a pitcher. That was the goal. That was the number one goal after this, that season ended is they got it. They had to hit the portal with a pitcher. And I know Coach Ravel is really, really excited about this one. She has three, two years left. She's played three with the COVID year. She has two years of eligibility left at Nebraska. So this is not just a one and done for the Husker program. Uh, so that's that's even better news. She grew up in the state of Missouri, 
uh, Bowling Green, Missouri, which I don't know where that is. I know Missouri geography pretty well, but I don't know where Bowling Green, Missouri is. I'll have to Google that. A lot of times with those smaller conferences, I mean, you saw it with Oklahoma and Hope Troutwine, who went to North Texas. And, you know, not always do you get as much talent. So as a, there's a lot more on the pitcher at, you know, some of the smaller programs. And, uh, you know, they, they have to battle a lot. And, and, you know, those are programs that play a lot of good teams. And so, you know, just because, I mean, and, and then how many times have we seen it with a lot of different sports that they want to take the next step with the different conference? But she will be battle tested and um, ready to go. And then, probably as a pitcher and this is what I said all along and and you know having some conversations with some softball people even my cousin who played is that there are a lot of pitchers that this lineup the way that they can hit offensively is extremely attractive because it just takes off so much pressure off of a pitcher when you can hit the way you do and then you've got the defense behind you that you do so welcome Sarah Harness new member to the Husker softball roster a pitcher and she'll be a major factor in the circle for the Huskers coming up next year. Again, 402-413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question. Also time to tell you that Nebraska 811 says go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, and it's the law. When we come back, we'll talk some football. Nick Henrich, the inside backer from Burke High School, won a state championship in Memorial Stadium a couple of years ago, already now set to be a junior, had a 99 tackles last season. We'll hear from Nick coming up next. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500. We have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line, text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it, the confidence of flashing a beautiful smile, the relief that your family can keep living the life they love, the serenity of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. 
You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. Manzer Equipment in Osmond, Nebraska, your full-time Massey Ferguson dealer. Proud supporters of the Huskers and Nebraska farmers since 1975. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third-grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul, not to mention their injury list. Cox, we're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com sports. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? They're even longer term than the silent treatment your mom gave you after she found out you backed over her peony bushes with the riding lawnmower. Even though it could have happened to anyone, Oof, talk about long term. Hello, it's Jim Persinger from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 308-284-3260 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. Sponsored by Acres, it's the Midwest Premier John Deere Dieter supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Thursday night. Tomorrow night, uh, another one of those Friday night lights camps at Memorial Stadium. Open to the public. Doors will open at 5 o'clock. If you want to come tomorrow, one, bring some water. You're allowed to bring in some water. It's going to be hot. The southwest corner of the gates you know, lets you into the stadium. You'll sit on the west side. That's good because you will be in the shade uh, for the camp. But you can come out and watch. It usually is over by 8 o'clock, and the Oscar coaches will be out conducting the drills and all that. So uh, I know they'd love to have a good turnout tomorrow night. If you want to come out and kind of eye sp- spy some uh, potential future Huskers, uh, that would be great. Tomorrow night, again, doors open at 5 o'clock. One guy that I know was part of a camp a few years ago was Nick Henrich, who all of a sudden becomes a junior now. Last year, tremendous season. He and Luke Reimer really held down that defense in the middle last year. Had a chance to catch up with Nick and ask about his progress and getting ready for yet another football season. Visiting now with Nick Henrich, Husker, inside linebacker. Let's start there because you, you've bounced in and out. Mm-hmm. Looks like you found a home inside. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it was uh, the COVID year. They had some injuries at the outside backer position, and they literally just kind of looked around and was like, has anyone ever rushed the passer before? And I was like, yeah, I did a little in high school, and they're like, well, we kind of need you here. So went and moved there, uh, loved it. Obviously, probably not my natural position. I'm probably more of a natural fit at inside, but – you know, I learned a lot there, and I think playing that made me a better football player overall. So, And then I moved back to inside when we had some more injuries at inside uh, later half of that year with uh, Colin Miller going down. And then, yeah, I've been loving it ever since. 99 tackles last year. Congratulations on that. Could, can you go bribe somebody to find one more tackle so you have an even 100? <laughs> I wish. I just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, who knows? I don't know how that works exactly, but, yeah, it was good. Last year's defense seemed like a really good cohesiveness with your groups, from the front guys to you in the middle to the, the secondary, the back end. Can you duplicate that this year? And What do you need to do to make sure you have that cohesiveness between all three groups? Yeah, I think we definitely can. We got a lot of, lot of guys that might not have played a lot of ball last year, but have been in the program for a while. And as well as the new guys coming in, we've clicked right away, which has been great. So. It's been great to have some fresh new faces, and it's been good to build chemistry so far this summer. You're an old guy. I know. How about that? Who'd have thunk, right? <laughs> How quick did that go? And congratulations on graduating, Thank too. you. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, it flew by. That's what <laughs> everyone's like, you're graduating this semester? I'm like, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So, 
it's flown by to consider to think I'm one of the old guys now is kind of crazy. What was your degree in? Psychology. Okay. Uh-huh. Right on. And you're still not quite sure what you want to do with that eventually someday, huh? Yeah. And you got I'll, time. I got, got some time left still, but hopefully getting into the counseling field or service field so it helps some people out. So we'll see what happens, though. I think we, everybody left spring ball kind of worried about the defensive front, but they've gotten into the transfer portal mm-hmm. and added some bodies. Some of them aren't even here yet. You concerned about that group up front, or do you see enough that you think you'll be fine up? Oh. Guys are playing ahead of you. Yeah, I'm not worried at all. Uh, Coach Dawson does such a good job coaching the guys up, so... We know they're in good hands, and throughout spring, every one of those guys got better, and there's been a lot of young guys making some big strides, so I'm really excited to see what that group can do this fall. Nick, I, I told, I've told so many people since the end of last season that we were a good football team. We just couldn't make a play here or there to make a difference. What do the Huskers need to do to make those plays this year to flip those scores to the good side? Yeah, I think uh, one of the biggest things is just mental toughness and mental focus. That's what I would say is... Something we've been working on is we've been having some groups with uh, Dr. Haskell, our sports psychologist, to kind of go over strategies on how to deal with negative things in the game because it's inevitable that they're going to come, but you just got to learn how to deal with them and continue to bounce back and how to kind of reset your mind. Can you take some, some confidence and build up your esteem a little bit knowing that you had, had Michigan on the ropes, they end up in the college football playoffs, so they were determined to be one of the top four teams in the country, and yet... Nebraska was right there, play for play. Can you take and build on that? Yeah, I mean, you can definitely build on it. I think, I mean, it just stings, but we're moving on at this point, and we're ready to, we're ready to roll into this season. But we know we have a, we have a good group and a good, good leadership, and we have a good team, so we'll be able to do some good things this year. I think one of the fascinating things about the Big Ten is you can go from one week playing a team that goes two tight ends, fullback, eye back to spread teams. Mm-hmm. That's got to be a little bit more work for you guys to have to completely change styles from week to week in yeah, this conference. Definitely. You got to have a lot of versatility playing in the Big Ten, which is obviously great. And uh, the other thing is, you're not going to have a cakewalk any week. It's going to be every team, that, for the most part, are, every game's really going to be competitive and physical. So you always got to bring it. Does a certain style light you up more? knowing that maybe you'll play more some weeks or that you like the different maybe inside-the-box type play. Do you like one or the other more? I don't know. I think all styles are fun to play against, and I'm just I fired up every week to go out there and play. I mean, this is – you're talking about dream come true for all of these guys here. So I think for most people, everyone's just excited to play ball. Been to Europe before? I have. I've actually been to Ireland once. Is that right? Uh-huh, yep. You been I went, in Dublin? Even yeah, or? uh-huh, been in Dublin. I went uh, – it was like my, God bless my parents, I'm so lucky to have two just amazing supportive parents, but I was uh, lucky enough to go to Dublin my senior year before my senior football season in high school and absolutely gorgeous, loved it. What, are we, what, what can I expect? I haven't been to Ireland it's before. It's super green, like, yeah? it's, it's like luscious, that's what I would say. I, re- I love the accents too, that was probably one of the coolest <laughs> things, so yeah, it's just an amazing place. Is the team it. fired up, you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, anytime you can go uh, experience a different culture and experience a new place I think it's special big game yeah huge game most important game of our season yeah I think you're right and we put it on them a year ago I'm sure they're they remember that yep definitely I'm sure they do as well and I know they'll be motivated uh they got have a good culture over there and a really good coach and a system so we're gonna have to bring our a game which we will all right you got two months between now and, and kickoff well, what are some key things that have to happen because everybody wants to fast forward and get to that kickoff but I know as a team you got to get a building block yep. this thing what what happens the next two months I think conditioning gotta, what all yeah, happens strength and conditioning is huge you got to build up your body because you're going to take a lot of you know a lot of blows during the season so this right now doing the stuff we're doing will help us stay healthy during the season uh film study is huge you can never get in the film room enough and just overall bettering yourself, you know what I mean? Spending time improving your craft. Where does Nick Henrich need to improve in your eyes? Everywhere, everywhere, I think, right? Because, I mean, we're always striving to get better, but obviously Coach Rue does a great job of giving us feedback of some stuff that each player needs to specifically work on. So I'm going to spend a lot of time doing that and getting better. Keep getting better. Stay healthy and let's go get this thing. That's what we're going to do. Love it. Nick Henrich, Husker, inside linebacker, about to be a junior now. Again, a state champion at Burke, had a tremendous high school career, and now is really becoming a big impact and a guy that looks like he belongs in the Big Ten. He played well last year. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking this, too. I feel like he looks 
bigger. When I saw him um, walking around in his pads the other day, yeah. I thought he looked a lot uh, like he had put on some weight, too. How about the fact that he's been to Dublin, Ireland That's before? That's awesome. That's cool. I, I know our um, Ireland folks that we were working with will be uh, excited to hear that, um, but... Yeah, that's all. Awesome. It's it, like you mentioned the other night. It seems like these players are really, really excited about this opportunity to go experience this. And and how, how many of them have we heard say that a lot of times this might be the only opportunity that a lot of people get, not just the players, but the people on the staff. I probably wouldn't have had this opportunity had I not been a part, you know, of of this staff. So, um, I, you know, I think they're really excited about it. Looking forward to it. They know they got to take care of business, but still, just there's going to be some time to get to experience. Some of the culture there that is a worry of mine honestly is can they get focused when they get over there because this is a big big football game i think they won't have a problem with that because this this is such a motivated bunch and they realize absolutely it is a must win football game but also in how important it is to set the tone for the season and and you know a conference game out of the gate but um you know it's also you think about there's there's going to be a little bit of time and that's probably it's not just nebraska but i gotta imagine the people that are putting on the game are going to have some sorts of activities that both teams are going to so it's not just nebraska that'll be involved and probably going to some things some time throughout the week but also northwestern is he a possible captain in your eyes do you think nick has the respect that he might be a cat i think garrett nelson definitely is a captain on that side of the ball but if they go with a second one is Nick one of the candidates? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean, I think he definitely has uh, leadership and uh, he's played a lot of ball, but I don't know if they'll how many they'll have and yeah. if it's they're trying to spread it out and um, if if Garrett Nelson is a linebacker that's a captain, I don't know if they'll make another linebacker It'd a captain. Be tough. Yeah. So um Quentin I don't Newsom know. might be a guy pick on the backside who's played so much as well that would be probably a candidate. The thing about the the middle linebackers is that they're gonna be a leader whether they're a captain or not. And they were leaders last year and they did a lot of the directing of the traffic and they're they they have to know so much and know all of the defense and be able to, you know, point and direct and it's just, you know, such a cerebral position too, and they gotta do a lot of film work and so they're naturally you know kind of like the quarterback whether they're the captain or not they're going to be a leader of the football team 99 tackles couldn't they have found just go back and film and find one more here's and i think too probably also on that how do you make nick a captain and not luke reimer true because yeah. luke reimer's also been a big leader right. for this team too and that was a guy when i did interviews with damian daniels and cam taylor Britt. a lot of them they both mentioned luke reimer as a guy that potentially could step up and be a captain too so i don't know if you how you put nick and and Nick and not Luke and Luke and not Nick. So I, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I think it's Garrett Nelson is, is hands down. Um, I think you're right. And maybe I would be interesting to see how Oshan, um, if maybe he steps True. into one of those leadership, uh, if be, he gets elected captain. It'll be tough since he only got here now. If he'd have been here for spring ball, I would give him a shot. I think it's going to be hard. Because when, when do they, is it? It's, they usually vote mid-camp. Yeah. So I, I mean, I guess it maybe depends on how he um, attacks these next couple of months, because a lot of those leaders emerge right now. I mean, I know yeah. they a lot of them emerge in January, February, winter, you know, um, but now is an important time, too. So maybe he um, will emerge as a leader. And and I, like I told you the other day, just the way he carries himself and already in the building, how many people are, you know, talk to him and he, he speaks to. And you can tell he's already a guy that, that people will follow. So I don't know. Be interesting. Time for us to tell you that you got a great opportunity here to customize your Husker football three-game mini plan that is on sale now for $180 per ticket. You get to choose a game from September, a game from October, a game from November, whatever works for you. The September choices are North Dakota and Georgia Southern, October is Indiana, Illinois, November, Minnesota, Wisconsin. You pick and mix and match one from each month. The seats will be located in the north and south end zones. It's really easy to do, kind of fun to do, actually. You just go online, huskers.com slash tickets, and go ahead and build your own mini plan. Good response to this so far. Again, huskers.com slash tickets to put together your three-game mini plan for the upcoming season. All right, your thoughts on Nick Henrich, the linebackers, the black shirts. If you have some thoughts about that, 402 401 on three twenty four hundred. We're back with more of the show coming up. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team 
and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up in back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hi, I'm Nebraska Pick 3. I'm my day. I'm 2 by 2 We're three great lotto games from the Nebraska Lottery. And this is our first radio spot ever. But we've only got 30 seconds, so we gotta talk fast. With Nebraska Pick 3, you get to choose your own bet type. With my day, you choose a six-digit date. And 2 by 2 has a $22,000 top prize. And, and we're, we're all just $1, $1 for play, play with drawings every day. day. That was easy. And we did great. With eight seconds to spare. We should be doing all the lottery's ads. <clears throat> Sorry, that gig is already taken. Must be 19, please play responsibly. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant decal brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with decal. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to iian.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at trustedchoice.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Husker fans, get ready to be part of the excitement of the 2022-23 Nebraska women's basketball season by joining the season ticket waitlist today. The Huskers return all five starters from a team that won 24 games and advanced to the 2022 NCAA tournament. Make the first choice on the best seats to watch the Huskers in person at Pinnacle Bank Arena this year. Join the waitlist by July 31st at huskers.com slash request list. Fuel your curiosities and inspire your lifeblood with the first ever Mazda CX-50. Available now at both Woodhouse Mazda locations. The remarkably intuitive standard all-wheel drive Mazda CX-50 is responsive, making the driver's connection to the road natural across a wide variety of driving scenarios. An interior where form and function meet, making the cabin luxurious and durable. See the first ever CX-50 online at WoodhouseMazda.com or in the showroom in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place off 144th and Giles Road. Nothing goes better with Husker sports than Fairberry. Fairberry, premium quality hot dogs deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. The highest quality beef, pork, and natural spices give you the best tasting hot dog and your hometown favorite Big Red Hot Dog. Look for Fairberry hot dogs all year long at your local grocery store. Fairberry, the official hot dog of the Huskers and Nebraska fans everywhere. At Great Western Bank, they are committed to your community. 
with all the local decisions and personal attention of a hometown community bank. They also have the convenience of a bigger bank. It's the best of both. So you can bank with your neighbors and your friends. Great Western Bank wishes all area teams a safe and successful season. Great Western Bank, member FDIC. Momentum, it's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Back on our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, it's the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Thursday night. Game six tonight in Boston starts at 8 o'clock tonight. Celtics in a must-win situation. The Warriors can close them out with a victory tonight. Terrific game one of the Stanley Cup Finals last night. Overtime affair. The Avs score a minute, 20 seconds into the overtime to beat uh, Tampa Bay. So they get a jump in that series, one nothing now, Avalanche. So hopefully the NBA game tonight will replicate that and be a close, tight game for a hold all of our attention. How about that atmosphere? Terrific. Wasn't it great? Yeah. I saw Russell Wilson and Sierra were there going nuts and celebrating. He's, he's wrapping his arms around Denver. Oh, he? yeah, he is. I bet he's so, I mean, Seattle is such a crazy sports market, but, you know, it's probably important for him to go to another, you know, sports market that could match that passion. And um, it's kind of how he is. He kind of dives all in. I think it's cool that also, you know, his uh, sister plays for Stanford and he was all in. He was yep. traveling up at the stands in the NCAA tournament. So he just seems to be a, a major sports fan yep. of every sport and is appreciative of, of what he sees. He has already thrown the first pitch out at a Rockies game. So he's uh, he's really indoctrinated himself into the Denver community. So uh, it's really cool to see. Tomorrow, the CWS starts. Oklahoma A&M, 1 o'clock. Here we go. Let's start this thing. I know. Uh, I I'm, I can't wait to. I won't be here, but um, I'll. You probably watch know it. some people that are coming up, don't oh, you? Oh yeah, I've been texted and called quite a bit. There's a lot of uh, Oklahoma fans that are making the drive up, excited. A lot of a lot of people had never been up here because I mean it has. It's been over a decade since Oklahoma's yep. been up here, but um, you know not just because I know the team and um, work there, but I think they got a good shot. They're they're hot. They're one of the hot teams, and and their pitching is solid, and so. Um, I, they might be a team that could maybe make a run in this thing. You know, I, I really think, and I said this last time, I think any of the eight, you could sit there and say they could win it because mm -hmm. they're all pretty evenly matched. It should be a great College World Series. Evan Bland of the Omaha World had a, Herald had a terrific piece today. Uh, talking to, he talked to Mike Martin, the longtime head coach at Florida State, retired a couple years ago, and he brought the Seminoles to Omaha for a lot of times. He said, you know, what's really interesting is people don't say we're getting to the College World Series. People say we're going to Omaha. Yeah. It's been the chant around the country for decades, and that's a really cool thing that Omaha has developed that niche that they don't talk about getting to the series. They talk about getting to Omaha well, all yeah, year long. I mean, look at Arkansas. They're the Omahogs. Yep. And Oklahoma. Omaha. They Oklahoma had their hashtag their, is Oklahoma. Omaha. So it's um, I think that's what they have on their graphics. So a lot of them are trying to figure out a way to tweak that into it. So yeah, I mean it is it is all about Omaha. It's a huge economic boost for mm -hmm. the for the and you'll see. And I don't know if you saw it. Well, yeah, you were here last year in June. A lot of those fans because they have days off or that their teams don't play. They'll come to Lincoln and they'll walk around the football stadium and they'll walk around the Haymarket and you'll see them. They'll be wearing their team's garb. Uh -huh. So it's kind of cool. You'll see some people down here in Lincoln the next 10 days. It's I mean, it's just with both. I think that's so important. And and I think I said this last night, but just with the Women's College World Series in Oklahoma City and it's been there and it's kind of built around that. And I think it's kind of the same thing. You're going to Oklahoma City, going to Omaha. When you hear the broadcasters, the play-by-play -play people announce and they punch their their ticket to Omaha or punch their ticket to Oklahoma City. Um, you know, I think it's it's good for the sport and the um, make the national championship that because it's been in um, 
that those locations for so long and it's built around that. I think that's been good for the sport and hyped up the national championships. Whereas in almost every other sport, it, it moves jumps. around. Yeah. And I think, it, I think it is good that it does do that. I think it kind of anchors it in. I know Omaha signed a 25 year lease. It's about 10 years ago, but they have 15 more years. They did that. And the NCAA did that because they built the ballpark because of, you don't build a big new ballpark like that if you're not going to keep it for very long. So Right. Well, I, I just think the NCA probably realizes that, I mean, if you move it, there's no guarantee you're going to get the same turnout. You're not, you might not get the same return on ticket sales and, and all of that, that if you moved it to a different location, but because people know that that's where it is. And then both the cities have done a good job of building it up around the ballpark and around the event that, you know, it's, it's a, it's an event. It's not just, you're not just going to watch some games. You there, you're here for an, an experience and there's so many cool things. I was, I loved it. That's what I've been telling people when they asked me, should we come up? Absolutely. You absolutely should go to Omaha and experience it because it, everything that's around it, it's everything that you think it's going to be. It's, it, it's so much fun. It was a bucket list item for me that I got to scratch off last year. So everybody that's asked me, Hey, should we come up? I'm absolutely, you should absolutely come up and experience it. Sam and Omaha on our text line said it's crazy to think that the SEC has six teams there. <laughs> it's kind of right. The SEC is already claiming them. So. Yeah, I know. Because Texas and Oklahoma about to be SEC teams. It's right. And, and uh, there was another piece in the World Herald today that was well done as well. 20 years ago, the college baseball game was dominated by a lot of West Coast schools. Mm -hmm. and, Beach, and softball, too. Long Beach State, Cal State, Fullerton. Those, and now those programs don't get here very often. It's now shifted to the SEC. Yeah. And I mean, I get kind of frustrated that the SEC um, baseball and softball both get hyped up. And sometimes I don't think it, they live up to that. But this year, SEC baseball absolutely did. Yeah, it has done that. All right, 402-413-2400, the number if you want to dot us up with a comment or question or like Sam did, fire off a text. You certainly can do that. Time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We're back with our final segment of Hour 1 next Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. 
Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for all your vehicle needs. With two ways to shop, we make car buying easy. Purchase your new or certified pre-owned vehicle all from the comfort of your own home with available pickup and delivery options. Plus, chat with a sales team member, reserve your vehicle, and complete a credit application online at woodhousebuickgmc.com. Or visit our climate-controlled showroom for comfortable shopping year-round. Streamlining your car buying experience. This is Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. 402-413-2400 402-413-2400 Final few minutes of hour one here of Sports Sportsline Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here On a Thursday night They had some thieves at the uh, U.S. Open today Did you hear about this? No John Rahm, everybody knows who John Rahm He won it last year, he won the U.S. Open out in uh, San Diego at La Jolla He hits a tee shot at 18 It went off to the side Kind of in some rough area uh, As he begins to head Walk that way, he sees two Young kids running away from him with a big smile on their face. Apparently, they picked up his golf ball and took off with it, but the marshals saw where his ball landed, and so they he got a free drop out of it. He didn't get penalized, but these kids... Did they, did they get the kids? I don't know. I don't think they caught them. So, but Rom says, he goes, I know who did it. I saw him. He goes, and they were looking at me with a wry smile. And he goes, I wondered why they were smiling at me. But he goes, when I got up there and couldn't find my ball, I knew exactly what had happened. Wow. I guess uh, <laughs> their parents didn't tell them about golf etiquette when they were going to watch the. How about that? The U.S. Open today. That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, John Rom is right in the thick of it. He finished it one under. So the leaderboard is really good it's a, some really good players up toward the top of the leaderboard Roy is a shot out of the lead Adam Hadwin did finish the round at minus four so he has a one shot lead after 18 holes of round one looks like a cool course be fun to to be there big weekend in Boston you got that going on you got the Celtics about to play tonight pretty cool stuff yeah I wonder how many people are trying to go to both events I'm sure they're, well, I don't know if one, some of the golfers would go there or not. Well, I, I mean, just fans that maybe. I'm sure some of the basketball guys would love to slip out there and watch. Mm-hmm. But you mean fans? Yeah. Probably some. Be a fun yeah. weekend trip for a sports fan. Be a little double-double. Uh, huge news for Kansas City, and I'm really happy for a lot of folks down there. They put a lot of time into it. They have secured uh, a bid to be a host for the 2026 World Cup. There are 12 cities in the U.S. that are going to host World Cup matches. Kansas City is one of them. They will play at Arrowhead, the home of the Chiefs. That is a huge, huge, you talk about a big economic impact for a town. World Cup, you'll have all these fans from other countries coming into town. It seems like soccer has really been embraced in Kansas City. It has. I mean, hey. it, you know, for it not being necessarily a hugely accepted sport all o- across the country, there's there's little pockets in the country. I think that it's it's more popular than others. It seems like Kansas City is one of those places. Their MLS franchise has been very, very successful, mm-hmm. and they've hosted a lot of U.S. national matches, whether it be the men or the women. This is just a huge, huge get. This is a really, really big deal. And I know a lot of our audience probably don't care about soccer, and I get that. But hosting one of the sites of the World Cup is a huge thing. And so, they have a women's pro team there too, right? They do. And there's a couple of Huskers, former Huskers who play on that team. And that was one of the things that, you know, when all the drama and social media with Brittany Matthews, uh, Mahomes, Patrick yeah. Mahomes. In fact, she, they own part of it. Yes, thing. and she's been a big advocate for you know promoting women's soccer. She played soccer in, in college, and so she's been a big voice and advocate for for the soccer in, in Kansas City, too. So huge day, big day. Congratulations. I know some of the folks who work for the Kansas City Sports Commission, congratulations to them. I know they put in hours of work to get that bid. That is a, a big-time thing. Stephen Bellevue on our text line says, my opinion, of course, but no one does amateur athletics like Omaha. The only city that might be close is Indianapolis. Omaha has hosted a lot of NCAA regionals, obviously the College World Series, the last several Olympic games they've had. They've been the host for the women, the swim trials. That is leaving. It's going to Indianapolis the next time the Olympics come up. But I'll throw in athlete. Orlando for basketball because they have a, a cool uh, facility for a lot of basketball. A lot of AAU national tournaments are held there too. All right, one hour, kind of finished up. Our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. On the other side, we'll talk to another member of the Hall of Fame class for the Oscars, Angela Thacker, who was a tremendous long jumper in the track back in the 80s. She's going to join us on the other side. Come on back.
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. The 2022 Nissan Rogue Sport is street savvy, road trip ready, and always fun to drive. Equipped with standard features like rear automatic braking, blind spot warning, and high beam assist so you can surround yourself with confidence on the road. Plus, explore the three Rogue Sport trims to find the one that's right for you and your lifestyle. Choose your experience and shop, finance, and purchase online at woodhouse.com or in store at Woodhouse Nissan in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. Order today at hy slash mealtime.
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. We have a full second hour coming up for you tonight as we begin with a plethora of Huskers news as Axelina Johansson was named to the Big Ten, named the Big Ten Freshman of the Women's Outdoor Track and Field season. Johansson finished third in the shot put at the NCAA Outdoor Championships to earn a bronze medal and first team All-American honors. She finished as the top freshman nationally in any of the NCAA field events. Nebraska track and field associate head coach and throws coach Justin St. Clair was named the USTFCCA, CCCA, excuse me, Midwest Region Women's Assistant Coach of the Year on Thursday. It was his 10th time winning this award since 2016. Congratulations once again to Coach St. Clair. Both Huskers men's and women's basketball announced their Big Ten opponents today. Looking at the home side of those schedules, Nebraska men's basketball will host the following teams at PBA this season. Northwestern, Ohio State, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Penn State, Purdue, Minnesota, Illinois, Maryland, and Iowa. On the women's side, for their home schedule coming up in the 2022-2023 season, it'll be Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, Ohio State, Northwestern, Michigan State, Penn State, Wisconsin, and Illinois coming to PBA. Nebraska softball announced today that they've added Southern Illinois transfer pitcher Sarah Harness to their roster for the upcoming season. She's coming off a season in which she was named to the All-Missouri Valley Conference first team coming off a year in which she went 22 and 7 with a 177 ERA including a 3-0 record and a 0.33 ERA in the MVC tournament in pro sports this evening in Major League Baseball midway through the 4th inning the Yankees and the Rays are scoreless in the bottom of the 3rd the Phillies lead the Nationals 7 to nothing so it's been all Philly in that one so far the Mets are up 1 nothing on the Brewers at the end of 3 in the top of the fourth, another scoreless contest. That's between the Rangers and the Tigers. A couple of final scores for you from earlier today. The A's beat the Red Sox 4-3. to The Padres took down the Cubs 6-4. to The Orioles blasted the Blue Jays 10-2. to And the Guardians beat the Rockies 4-2. to The Angels and Mariners, the lone game left on the schedule tonight. That's out on the West Coast at 9-10 p.m. Central. In the NBA tonight, it's Game 6 of the NBA Finals between the Golden State Warriors and Boston Celtics. The Warriors would win their seventh championship with a win tonight, and the Celtics will, of course, look to force a Game 7. That game tips off at 8 p.m. Central. No Stanley Cup Finals tonight. They will resume on Saturday, but in hockey news, the Philadelphia Flyers hired John Tortorella to be their next head coach. The Vegas Golden Knights traded Evgeny Dadanov to the Montreal Canadiens for the contract of Shea Weber, uh, and that is, of course, for cap relief. Is It's roughly getting them out of about $10 million over the cap in hockey. And in international sports, we talked about it in hour one. FIFA announced that 16 host cities for the soccer 2026 World Cup in the countries of Canada, Mexico, and the United States. The closest city not too far down the road from Lincoln here as it'll be Kansas City, one of the 11 American venues that will again host, play host, in the 2026 FIFA World Cup. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throwing pass, caught by Manning at the 10, eludes a bottom maker to the 5, one more Manning dive, touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out the flat. To each way, back to throws. Polensky now being rushed. Gets hit, goes down. Another sack. Balls out. Balls out. And they still lose at the 10. And picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Gary Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal at the one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive. He's in. Touchdown, Nebraska. Yes. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. 
Thank you. Welcome our final hour of the night here on Sports Line. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, ready to fill you up with some entertainment and some fun. And we're going to have some great times here right away as we are delighted to be joined by Angela Thacker, who is one of the newest members to the Nebraska Hall of Fame. They're going to be enshrined this fall. Eight members. And Angela was a tremendous long jumper for the Cornhuskers in the early 80s and then went on to compete in the 1984 Olympic Games. She joins us now. Angela, great to have you with us. Congratulations on this. Well, how did how did this tell me how you heard and what did this make you how, how did you feel when you heard the news well coach Pepin um, our head track coach called me and it was pretty exciting um, <laughs> you know it's it's been a long time so when you're you're getting um, noticed and and recognized after many 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 years it, it is certainly um, a great honor you know, when you were um, first starting out as a, a college athlete here, that was kind of the beginning of Title IX and, and women's sports taking off. So what was your recruitment process like? How did you end up at Nebraska? Well, I ended up at Nebraska because I already had um, a couple of people who already went to Nebraska, and they told me how great it was. And then I always competed in the Junior Olympics, and the Junior Olympics was all, always at Nebraska. So I kind of felt like I knew the campus and um, just thought that I would have um, a good experience there. You you mentioned Gary Pepin. You know he's still here, right? I mean, the guy, I know he's, that. he's yes. timeless. <laughs> he loves jumpers, and you were one of the first really ones that uh, broke through and had just a huge career. You won 15 conference championships yourself. That is just amazing. But uh, he, he he considers himself one of the, the great jump coaches. Did that attract you to him, to come here though, with his ability to, to handle the jumps? Well, it didn't at the time because as a senior in high school, I remember I just started jumping and I jumped in our state uh, championships and I got third place. So it was nothing that I thought that I would continue to do. So I wasn't even looking at the long jump until I, I got to school and then, um, you know, coach started working with me and it really just became one of my specialties. Wow, that's crazy. That's a, what a cool story. When did you um, have a dream that, hey, I could use track to go to college, to go to the Olympics? How did, how did those dreams evolve for you? I, I do feel like all throughout my high school career, everyone would always say, oh, you're so good. You're going to go to the Olympics. And it wasn't really until maybe the end of my sophomore career that I realized, or my sophomore year in high school, that I realized, hey, um, this will really be a great catalyst for me getting into any school that I want to get into and, and have my education paid for. You were a huge part of back-to-back of -back national championships. What were those weekends like? Uh, and what memories do you take from that and, and, and some of the teammates that, that you competed with to win those national titles? Well, it was certainly, it was so exciting because we knew that we had just a well-rounded team. And myself, Merlene Adi, Janet Burke, and um, Rhonda Blanford, we were some, the top sprinters on the team. And we just knew that with some of the other well-rounded field events that we, we had a good shot at winning that championship. So it was very exciting. So you didn't know that you were going to be a long jumper until you get here, but you still have records that stand today. So how did you um, <laughs> fall in love with it? And then, I mean, how did it, how did you become such an elite jumper so quickly that still to this day, those numbers are some among some of the best? Well, when you realize that you're really good at something, you kind of start falling in love with it. So <laughs> I think that's how it happened. <laughs> you, but a lot of hard work. You yeah. were, as I mentioned earlier, Angie, you were a 15-time conference champion. You won an NCAA indoor long jump champ, and then you went on to the Olympic Games in L.A. in 84. What was that experience like for you? You know, at the time, you're just kind of taking everything in stride, but it's only afterwards and now when I think about it now, how magical it was and what great shape I was in. <laughs> it really does mean a lot more to me now than it probably did then. What was it like competing in those games in Los Angeles? It was pretty exciting. I remember walking in um, during opening ceremonies, and it was in Los Angeles, of course, and the stadium just exploded in excitement, and 
it was just as exciting for us and as it was for everyone who was sitting in the stands. It's just something I will never forget. What are you doing now? Update us on your life. <laughs> well, I, um, I am an accountant. I am a controller at, at uh, a, a dairy here in, in Maryland, which is where I live. And um, yeah, life's been good. I, I really can't complain. Um, I, 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 my life certainly has changed. It's not as exciting as it was back then, but um, I, I do still work out and, and try to keep myself in good shape. So, Were you a business major then here at UNL? I was not. Business kind of found me afterwards, and I really realized that it was my forte. So kind of like track and field and the long jump. These things, these wonderful things just find me. <laughs> <laughs> What does it mean to you to be among some of the best female athletes that have ever worn a Nebraska uniform for you and your teammates? You had talked about, you know, some of the teammates that you won the national title with, the first one ever, just all the things that you were able to do and to look back now and, and um, you know, again, your name comes up as one of the best that have ever come through here of any sport. What does that all mean to you? Well, it really means a lot. It like again, I really appreciate it now that I do look back. We worked so very hard, so those championships certainly didn't come easy. Um, and the, just the dedication of our team and the support of the the team was like a family. So the fact that they were all very so supportive and we were all just kind of going through the same thing, working hard, but we knew we were we were really good athletes. Um, it just means a lot. Um, and certainly this honor means a lot because not only in track and field, but, you know, University of Nebraska has produced some pretty exceptional athletes. Absolutely. Do you stay in touch at all with your some of your former teammates? I, I do. Um, you know, the wonderful world of Facebook keeps you in touch with everyone. So <laughs> even though we all live across the country and even the world, we do keep in touch on Facebook. Hey, we're celebrating the 50-year anniversary of Title IX, and we got the big launch coming up on Monday. But, um, you know, what's been your perspective of the growth of women's sports since when you were an athlete to where it is today? Well, uh, I, I, of course, it doesn't impact the caliber of athlete. Women, we were always great athletes, but it's really just about the recognition and, and having other people and in the country and in the world, we realize that we are great athletes. We contribute so much to the sports world. Um, it's just an important movement, something that I'm glad will never be forgotten. Will we see you here this fall? Will you be able to make it back for the ceremonies? Oh, you'll definitely see me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you, uh, Coach Pepin, probably, I don't know if there's many other people on the staff that you'll remember. I mean, we, Gary just is like, he, his life keeps going on and on and on. We're glad he's still running the track program here. I'm, I'm sure he's going to be excited to see you. I will be excited to see him and to meet all the new coaches. Very good. Angela, congratulations. This is so well-deserved, and it's just an honor for us to have you on here tonight, and we look forward to meeting you in person here this fall. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angela Thacker, another member of that 2022 class. What a delight. That was so fun. Yeah. How about she didn't even <laughs> jump really until she got here? Crazy. And it took off from there, and then she goes to the Olympics with, and all of that. That's awesome. Crazy. Good to have her with us here tonight. So uh, she'll be back in the fall as that class will be honored uh, uh, this fall at a football weekend for the Huskers. Hey, she joined us on our Sports Sunday Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance. Buy online at woodhouse.com. I looked up during the break, and we've got we got all these TVs in here. One of them was on ESPNU. They're showing the Husker volleyball match against Pitt in the semifinals. Yeah, welcome. An hour later, I, I saw it when I walked in that they had it on. But, uh, yeah, so get over to ESPNU if you want to rewatch this Nebraska-Pitt game. We won that one. Yes. <laughs> Glad it's that one and not the Wisconsin. Exactly. But, although that was an epic battle, but just heartbreaking. I would not want to see that one again. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it is what it is sometimes. Hey, time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. When we come back, Aaron Sorensen, who uh, works for Nebraska Public Media, also Hale Varsity, going to join us. She's going to talk about a big celebration that is planned Saturday night at the Coliseum. We'll have that next. 
Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffix Devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Hey Huskers fans, tomorrow join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivy. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsay Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Shop Woodhouse Ford first and experience the difference. The all-new 2022 Bronco Sport is built wild for the thrill seeker, the sightseer, and the day tripper. A capable and dependable SUV that's ready to tackle the dirt, dust, and mud. Bronco Sport offers four models to match the way you explore the outdoors. Shop, finance, and buy your way. Online at woodhouseford.com or one of our three convenient Ford locations in Blair, Omaha, or Plattsmith. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivy. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're gonna have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. The Huskers provide the best on the field, and so does Kubota. The new Kubota L60 Limited Edition Series provides the best package for affordability, quality, and comfort, like the deluxe Grand L factory-installed cab or spacious open operator station. Maximize performance with Kubota's best-in-class HST Plus transmission and many other features of the L60 LE Series. Experience the Kubota difference. Visit NebraskaKubotaDealers.com or see Rush Kubota in West Point or Roar's Machinery in Beatrice. There's nothing better than the smoky aroma of grilled beef at the ballpark. 
This is Anne Marie with the Nebraska Beef Council reminding you to pick up a package of steaks or burgers for your next tailgate party. Whether you're setting up in the parking lot or cheering from home, nutritious beef is a home run choice when cheering on the Huskers. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for delicious beef recipes, grilling tips, and tailgate inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. As we welcome you back to Sports Nightly, I'm Jessica Cootie, and a very, very exciting. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. As we welcome you back to Sports Nightly, I'm Jessica Cootie, and a very, very exciting event happening here in Lincoln coming up on Saturday, put on by Nebraska Public Media, a free live taping and discussion of Title IX, 50 years in the making, and you want to talk about the who's who of Husker women's athletics, some of the biggest names of Nebraska women that have been involved in Nebraska athletics really over the past 50 years are going to be involved in this thing. And I know it's been a big work in progress, a big production. And to join us to talk a little bit about it and to preview the event, we welcome in Aaron Sorensen, the deputy editor of Hell Varsity, but is, uh, again, taking a big role in the production of all of it. Aaron. Thanks for joining us. Uh, how excited are you that Saturday's almost here? Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited, almost a little bit in disbelief that it is finally here. We've been planning and prepping for this for so long that I think until 6 p.m. hits on Saturday inside the Coliseum, I'm still a little bit in disbelief. Like, somebody better be make sure, like, I'm in the building because I, I feel like I'm going to need that, like, pinch me moment. <laughs> I'm, I think it's so cool that this is an event that's being put on and, um, you know, just a lot of cool things that are a part of it. I know you're part of a lot of uh, the production and the videos and all of that, but a big part of it is the panel that's going to be involved. Tell us about that and, and the women that you guys have brought on to, to be a part of that. Yeah, it's a great panel. It has Peaches James Keaton, Brandon Van Lingen, Carol Frost, and Jordan Larson are, are all going to be there and providing insight over the last, you know, over their experiences as women in sports over the last, you know, in Carol Frost's uh, perspective. She, she was a part of Nebraska athletics before Title IX uh, took hold. And I think hearing their perspective on what they've seen change the opportunities that have come because of Title IX, but even some of the room that we have to grow. I think that's been the really neat part of this whole experience as well. It is a celebration. It's allowing the experts on this topic to, to share a little bit about how much we do have to go and how much growth we have ahead of us, but there's a lot to celebrate now, but taking that celebration and, you know, channeling it into the future. So we have a really amazing group of women who will offer that perspective, and I'm just really excited for the audience, both in person and when you get to watch it on Nebraska Public Media, just to be able to hear from them and share those experiences with them. So you'd mentioned you got involved with this almost a year ago. What made you want to be a part of this and tell these kinds of stories in this perspective? Yeah, I, you know, it was one of those kind of uh, unbelievable moments when I had Nebraska Public, when Nebraska Public Media reached out, I, it was like, are, are you sure you want me involved? Not because I, I didn't think I was worthy, but I just felt like, you know, there's so many incredible women in sports in Nebraska and beyond where it just kind of was like it just felt really special to be allowed to be part of this and you know having this opportunity to celebrating women in sports is something that has been very important to me both in my career and personally and so getting to do a little of that on a, a more local level in Nebraska has just been a really really special thing for me and you know, I've been on this beat for about 10 years, and it makes me so happy every single year. I see more and more women joining this beat and representing, and I just having this opportunity to celebrate that, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really special thing that they asked me to be a part of it, and I hope I can just do a little bit of it justice. 
So in addition to the panel, I know there's going to be some, some videos that are being played that you've been a part of. Um, I wanted you to tell us a little bit about that because you went out to Oregon and you interviewed Sedona Prince. And for those listening in that might not be familiar, Sedona was the one that took the video of the weight room back in March Madness and right after the COVID year and, and really shed a light and, and brought a lot of attention to the discrepancies between the men's and women's uh, basketball tournament. What was that like getting to sit down and talk to her and, and dive in? to that storyline i i don't get starstruck all that often <laughs> but i was certainly starstruck by sedona prince because she is a force i think that's the thing is when you sit down and you're in her presence you are just so keenly aware of how um impactful she is how important she is and can be not only in women's basketball but beyond and that was just a really really like peak moment of my career honestly having that opportunity but having her explain what was going through her mind at the time and what she was feeling and you know even being unsure of herself through that thinking am I doing the right thing and getting a chance to also talk to Jazz Shelley who was a part of that team and now is at Nebraska but hearing her perspective it was it was just a it, it reminded you of the fact that these athletes are people, and I think having those check-ins of athletes are people just like anyone else, and they have all kinds of concerns, worries. They want to do what's right for their teammates, for their friends, for the next generation. And to hear Sedona really process all of that and explain her thinking and the support she you know, really leaned on with her teammates, but then also her mom, it was... It was just a good reminder that we look at sometimes these athletes as superheroes, but they really need us to be champions for them as much as we need their voices as well. Visiting with Aaron Sorensen, who's a part of the Nebraska Public Media's uh, Title IX event coming up on Saturday. And you also put together a story on Nebraska girls wrestling. How empowering was that to get to be a part of that and, and see that? I, was, I saw some social media videos of some of these girls that were participating in the state championships. I'm like, man, how awesome are these young women that are participating in wrestling? I had the opportunity to go to go to the state tournament and watch some of these women and these young women and it is it was just I remember in my mind thinking how incredible is this like if you would have told me in high school that wrestling was an option I wouldn't have believed you and so I'm now watching these just like incredibly powerful young women just kick butt and they're you know they're being paired up all of their matches are happening between the boys wrestling as well and so it's it's very much on a very high uh, it's on the same stage uh, people are seeing it on their tvs at the same time there's a lot of power in that and i had to like check myself not to get overwhelmed like standing there on the side watching this because it just felt like it was I mean, it didn't feel like it really was. We were watching history be made. And so getting to see that firsthand and, you know, get to be able to help tell that story was um, the Nebraska public media team is incredible. They tell some amazing stories. So the fact that they even like let me just be part of it and like I just I keep saying like they just let me come along for the really like the most special ride over this last year. But I it was just so fun to keep celebrating all of the champions of women's sports in Nebraska and beyond. And I, I, I want, obviously, the, to keep that going, but it just was, like, incredible. These, these young girls at the wrestling to be state champions, they inspired me. They're my heroes. Was there something that you learned throughout this process that maybe you didn't know before you took away different perspective, uh, you know, diving in and, and talking to all these different women? You know, I've learned a lot about Title IX, what it is, what it isn't. I think, you know, even for myself, I probably wasn't always aware of its place beyond sports, which it, it was not even intended just for sports when it came out. We're talking about the education aspect of it, and I, I think I am... I think I have learned so much more about what Title IX is, but where some of it's, it's you know, some of the areas where we really need to continue to challenge Title IX to be not only an incredible tool for athletes, but for all young women on college campuses. And it's, it's one of those things where I, 
it's not, it wasn't intentional that I didn't know enough about it, but I think it was, you know, easy for me to kind of just go, oh, I know what Title IX is. I've, I've learned a lot more, and I look forward to continuing to learn more about Title IX in the future, and I really encourage people to spend time looking at what it is, what it isn't, and what it can be, because it's, it's something that has a lot of potential, but it can't be a forgotten thing. We have to keep, we have to keep challenging it so that we can make, we can make sport inclusive. We can make universities a safe space for women and for all, for all students on campus, both student athletes and not. Yeah, I think that's important. And, and one thing that I wanted to get across too is that, you know, Title IX, we're celebrating the 50 years of it, but by no means is the work done. It's, you know, there's still a long ways to go. And a lot of our women's coaches that have come in here and, and talked about it have said that too. I mean, yes, we've made tremendous progress and there's been a lot of growth in women's sports, but we're not there yet, right? No, and I, I think that it's, it's exactly what you said. Uh, hearing from the coaches, having the chance to talk with Coach Amy Williams, but also getting to sit down with a panel of um, incredible volleyball coaches in the state of Nebraska uh, who all shared perspective on where volleyball is right now. And, you know, I think sometimes we can take for granted where where things are today without thinking about what they can be in the future and what we need to continue to challenge and what we need to keep asking ourselves is this is this the best that we can do for women's athletes I think about the um, the women's college world series and how many how many coaches especially after the videos came out about women's basketball were saying hey come look at our facilities so it just it just is a good reminder of the fact that we have a lot of work yet to do and so when we hear these athletes when we hear these coaches speak up we really should take a moment and not only listen but challenge ourselves to ask what we can do to help push this further because we want to be having these celebrations 50 years from now but we want to make sure that we've made big strides by then we want to know if we've looked back 50 years when we go hey 100 years of title IX. we better be looking at a very different world at that point or else we haven't done our job so it's something where it's like this is a celebration for sure, but it is also a kick. It's a, it's a kickstart, a jumping point. It's a jumping off point for what we can do going forward. Hey, preach, sister. Um, <laughs> if people are listening in and want to come to event to the event, I know you guys are encouraging people to come and be a part of it. You do need to register, though, if you want to go to nebraskapublicmedia.org slash Title IX. But break down what the event is going to be like for somebody that might be thinking about coming. Absolutely. It, you'll be able to sit and just enjoy the evening. It's it's something where you're, you're going to get to hear from those panelists, and you might even be able to ask a question. We have been taking questions. When you do register, you have the opportunity to ask a, ask a question right then and there. There will be opportunities that evening to also ask questions. You'll get to potentially meet these panelists. You never know. Um, but you'll, you'll just be in a really cool space. It's at the Coliseum, which we know there's a lot of history there for Nebraska, especially Nebraska volleyball. And it, it, you're going to be a part of history. And so I, I think for anyone who might be going, oh, do I... Do I want to? Do I want to come? Like I understand, there's a lot of things going on Saturday, especially in Nebraska right now. But if you have, you know, a couple of hours, I really encourage you to come and celebrate these women and celebrate all of the people that these stories have been told about. I promise you, you're going to walk away having had a really great time. And like I said, you might get a question asked on uh, during the special, or you can just sit and enjoy. And I think that's pretty cool too. And if they can't come, it's going to be turned around pretty quickly where you're going to be able to watch it um, on June 23rd, the actual date of the Title IX um, uh, legislation, right? Yep, so just keep an eye on Nebraska Public Media. They'll start running all of the ads right after the special is taped where you can see all the different times it will air on their different channels and uh, be available online. Uh, but June 23rd is that date. so. It'll be a quick turnaround. I was joking before we started recording that I'm glad I don't have to do all of the editing and uh, there are going to be some hard workers uh, making that happen, but thankful for them. And uh, for anyone who can't be there, you'll be able to uh, tune in and check that out pretty quickly. Aaron Zornson, appreciate your time. Best of luck this weekend. Can't wait to see how it all uh, unfolds and see the finished product. I know you guys have poured a lot of work into it, so um, important message, and I'm so excited that it's being brought here to Lincoln. Thank you. I really appreciate it.
Again, you can um, register to go to the live taping and discussion at nebraskapublicmedia.org slash Title IX to be a part of it. Six o'clock at the Coliseum. Thanks again to Aaron Sorensen for joining us. We're going to take a quick break here on Sports Nightly. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. Are we still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Autocorrect. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. The 2022 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need you in Memorial Stadium this fall. A customizable Husker football three-game mini plan is on sale now for only $180. To purchase your 2022 Husker football three-game mini plan today, or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. Go Big Red. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. The Nebraska FFA is growing leaders and building communities. Together, we are strengthening agriculture. The Nebraska FFA Foundation believes in our future leaders and the communities they serve. We believe in the future of agriculture. Join us in the I Believe in the Future of Ag campaign. Learn more at neffafoundation.org. Brought to you by Central Valley Ag, growing agriculture together, and Big Iron Auctions, Rural Connections, Respected Values, Real Deals. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336000 Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. Are we still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Autocorrect. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser-Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. 
They say if you listen hard enough, you can hear the corn grow. It's true. When you're out in the field, you understand its challenges and what it needs to thrive. Channel Seedsmen bring insights from the field to our team of bear plant breeders. Their knowledge inspires our product development. From your best ground to your most challenging conditions, our products are designed to perform in your fields. Visit ChannelListens.com to see our latest innovations. Always read and follow IRM where applicable. Grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Here we are inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Good interview with, with Aaron. That's going to be a really impressive night. That'll be fun. I hope they get a good turnout for that Saturday. Yeah, and I mean, just the, the names that are a part of it, you know, Carol Frost, Jordan Larson, Peaches James, as you mentioned, is that that's on the all team all name, name list. All, all-star team. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And you automatically just know. There's just one of those names that you know where she played, what she did. Yeah. You know, one of those athletes. You don't have to say, where did she play ball? You know, or where did he play ball? Sometimes that comes up. Right. Up, but, yeah, and um, so that should be absolutely fascinating. And, and Brenda Van Lingen, who everybody is a big-time voice for women's basketball now, she does play-by-play and analyst for really all – all across the country so it'll be fascinating for sure i can't wait I unfortunately won't be in town this weekend but i cannot wait to watch it once they get it all put together and you heard her they're going to turn it around really quick so you're going to be able to watch it if you can't go you'll be able to watch it starting monday that'll be impressive to uh, see father's day coming up here in a couple days you taking care of your dad you got I this all figured out am. he texted me today we got a 9 a.m tea time nice and i hope he's not listening because uh, the surprise is is gonna um well we're in the surprise but well, i'm gonna don't, get don't him. give it away well he probably won't be listening uh he's probably watched the basketball game um but he, i'm gonna get him a round of golf to Corey oaks good because nice. that's he he apparently has somebody that he knows that played there and yeah. he's been wanting to play there since i moved here just hasn't worked out where he's been able to get up there so i'm gonna get him a round of golf up there john bader was is okay with that yeah he told me that it, that was one of the courses yep. he recommended it's so. a great course great course um if it's going to be 100 here, what's going to be down there this weekend? It's got to be that hot, doesn't it? It'll probably be that hot, but it probably won't be as humid. That's, True. I mean, again, it just feels more humid here to me than it does in Oklahoma. And it's going to get really humid this week, they're saying. I may not survive that CWS game on Saturday that I'm going to. I might, I may pass out <laughs> in that deal. Speaking of Father's Day, i got a great idea for you, folks. How about a customized Husker football three-game mini plan that is on sale now for only $180 for a ticket? You get to choose a game in each of the months of the football season. In September, you pick between North Dakota and Georgia Southern. The October, you pick between Indiana and Illinois. And in November, Minnesota or Wisconsin. You get to pick, mix and match, whatever works for your schedules. Um, seating will be in the north and south end zones. And to do it, you do it online. Huskers.com slash tickets. It's real easy. You go mix and match the tickets you have. Great Father's Day idea right there. I'm helping you out, folks. That's what I'm here every night to try to make your lives easier. Are you also maybe, well, I guess, I was about to say something really dumb. I was going to say. Get my own tickets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm maybe okay they'll there. give you that for, <laughs> for Father's Day, but I think you're taken care of there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're okay there. But that's a great plan, and the ticket sales for that have been really popular. And uh, why not? That'd be a wonderful way to do it. A lot of people can't afford an entire season ticket. This is three games. A lot of people don't want to lock in seven Saturdays to come to Lincoln to do games. That is even uh, a better way for you to just put it into your schedule and uh, make that all work out for you. All right, 402-413-2400, the number to dial us up with a comment or question. If you do that, you're doing that on our Sports Sunday hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. We're back to wrap up tonight's show next. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. 
Hi, I'm Nebraska Pick 3. I'm My Day. I'm 2x2. Two two with three great lotto games from the Nebraska Lottery. And this is our first radio spot ever. But we've only got 30 seconds. So we gotta talk fast. With Nebraska Pick 3, you get to choose your own bet type. With My Day, you choose a six-digit date. And 2x2 two two has a $22,000 top prize. And, and we're, we're all just $1, $1 for play, play with drawings every day. day. That was easy. And we did great. With eight seconds to spare. We should be doing all the lottery's ads. <clears throat> Sorry, that gig is already taken. Must be 19. Please play responsibly. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? <sighs> no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. See shelter agents Paul Hoos or Joni Rodeball in Grand Island or an Ord C agent Matt Woodward. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the field, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant decal brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with decal. Always read and follow green marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Here we are inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, final few minutes of Sports Nightly tonight, an encore show tomorrow night, so we will not be here, but enjoy some fantastic interviews that we've had over the last couple of weeks and months. That'll be for you tomorrow night, and we're back with you then on Monday. So we will not be able to recap tonight's Game 6. Andrew is all in on the Celtics. What do you think? You like their chances tonight? I asked you are off air. Give me a percentage of your of your confidence that they win tonight. Where are you at? 60, 65 percent? My confidence right now, I'm gonna go 70 Woo! around there. I'm I still feel confident with my Celtics right now. I can't say my Celtics. I'll go, I'm confident with Jason. Uh in in elimination games, he's He's considered one of the best, but I am nervous about Game 6 Clay. That's what I was going to say. Game uh, 6 Clay. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now, but uh, it's, it's going to be a great game. See, Didn't I'm, you say, you did say Celtics in 6, and I said Golden State in 6, right? When we talked right before on the first night of the series? Yep. 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 Have you not learned, Andrew, in the last year, you don't go against Jessica's picks? Have you not learned that? <laughs> no, I know, I know that. I, I huh? get it from, uh, from Jeremiah. I, I saw that a little bit, but, you know, I just got to keep going my gut, and, and uh, I like to be different, so I'm going to stand out and keep going with, uh, with my pick on I've Boston. Picked every game, I've picked every single game right of the series so far. See, I would be worried about the fact that Steph didn't shoot it well the other night. I think he comes back with a vengeance tonight. He loves being the, the villain in somebody else's arena. Well, then he put up 43 in game four? To get 45. 45? Holy moly. Man. He can shoot. Best, I think he's the best shooter of all time. I really Steph, do. yeah. I really yeah, do. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to argue that. But I do think, like we were talking about the other night, though, that he's inspired a generation that um, he, that will get past eventually, I think. 
Probably, yeah, because you always say this is the best guy right now, and then somebody five, ten years is better well, than, than that I later. mean, look at what Tiger Woods, the generation of golfers that he inspired. But they're not as good as him. No, no, but he definitely grew the game. Oh, he did, And yeah. so I think, you know, there will be a new generation of shooters that we'll be seeing in the NBA in um, the next several years. It's kind of sad. Tiger's not a part of the U.S. Open. I know. Not there. Yep. Not Boy. there. Boy. Uh, we talked about it last night that we were hoping that they'd not make it about the politics of everything, they but did. they did. And I heard Phil had had to have like three police officers that were escorting him around, make sure that he had enough security. But uh, I, I did hear that they were saying that the, the people that were on the course were cheering for him. They were. Mm-hmm. When he's very popular in the Boston, New York area. He's always had big crowds there. I, you know, I understand that this is a hot button issue. But once the tournament started, I was just hoping, let's make it about the tournament. We don't need to talk about the other tour and where it's being funded from. That can be talked about Monday through Wednesday, and it can be talked about again next week, and it will be. But let's make these four days about the golf tournament itself. And to me, if you're not trying to promote that other tournament, if you're trying to stay away from pushing people to go to that, wouldn't you rather them not talk about it on arguably the biggest golf tournament of the year? Thank you. Because there, yes. there are a lot of people that tune in to the U.S. Open that don't follow all the news that's going on, but only watch the U.S. Open that, you know, might not care as much about all of it. But if you are making it up to be this big storyline, they might be more apt to tune in to the live totally tour. Totally agree. I totally. And the U.S. Open is not has nothing to do with the PGA Tour. They right. have nothing to do. It's an independent entity. The USGA runs the Open. The PGA Tour has their own little week by week tournaments. They have nothing to do with this tournament. But it's almost like the PGA is putting pressure on they their are. partners to make sure that hey, you they support are. us and you do not support them, and right. this is bad. But it's to me, it's it's totally you know. Uh, dampened put a damper on the event because it's like just stop talking about it like maybe it was the first day maybe it'll be better tomorrow it wears me out and then they kept quoting how many guys from the, that played last weekend in london are in the tournament field i think it's 13 or whatever but they kept bringing i'm like i don't care cover the tournament cover the storylines that are happening today because those 13 golfers that were in london last week have been big parts of the pga most of them for have. several years yes. and so they were going to be in this tournament whether they were playing in the live tour or not because they are some big names in in golf so it's not that you know to me it's not that big of a deal that they're coming over to play in this where's me out i love this term i love all the majors i love this tournament and so it kind of took away some but you're right hopefully tomorrow they back away from that and they just start covering the tournament i just i think i keep going back to i understand that people are mad that it's being backed by saudi arabia and all of that kind of stuff but at the bottom at the very core of it, golf needs to have some changes made. And I think that's where these players are coming from. Right. And whether, you know, and, and Rory being the spokesperson for in support kind of has been a little bit shocking to me, but he's a guy that has made a lot of money and is set no matter what, whether he goes over there or not. So it's easy for him to be against this. But, you know, I think there are a lot of golfers that aren't necessarily have made a bunch of money yet that and some of the up and coming golfers and and that some of these players that have decided to go over to live are trying to better the game for upcoming golfers and for the future of the golf i don't know any other professional sport where you compete and you may make nothing yeah which is what happens if you don't make a cut you make nothing and so these guys have expenses they have a caddy to try to support and their own people that they sometimes travel with they have to travel to get there they have to put themselves up for a week and if you don't make the cut you make zero i don't know any other sport that does that yeah i mean it's definitely needs to change there just you know needs to be a few tweaks and it hasn't been changed ever ever so you know and how many times have we seen the other professional leagues make adjustments and changes for the players it's about time golf did it too i totally agree have a great weekend. Thanks. You guys have a good week will next you, week. Will you keep score when you play? Oh, yeah. We're in a tournament. Okay. All right. We'll go get them straight. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, that's the <laughs> key. I've been told that's the key. Hey, our Sports Family Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brand, 16 convenient location. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance by online at woodhouse.com. Thanks to Tim and to Grumpy Andrew. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you again on Monday. <laughs>
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light-duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. As the Huskers head to the seventh inning stretch, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call or visit SOSHVAC.com today. SOS to the 